Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, Mambuka Gaku Show video of solution. And in this video about Mambuka Gaku Show Chemistry 2015 Part 2. Yep, so for part 2 number 1, under acidic condition, manganese peroxide reacts with hydrogen peroxide as shown below. So this is there's a sort of reaction. Well, in this topic, it's actually uh, related to the topic of redox reaction. So in redox reaction, and it says that it's an, an acidic condition. And there's some sort of reaction here. There's an ion of uh, manganese, then hydrogen peroxide, hydrogen and uh, the ion of mangan, then oxygen and water. And we are to give the appropriate values for A to D in this reaction. Okay, so let me give you the idea of how this reaction might happen. So I will rewrite the numbers of the equation here. So this is number two. We have discussed about part one. So about part two, number one is the reaction of this ion plus something. I mean, that's could be filled with number of A and B, then the product oxygen and the water. Well, of course, the type of the reaction is when you have the redox reaction, you can actually put it to solve with the half reaction or with the oxidation number of reduction of, of reaction. But I used to use the method of half reaction method. So it's actually like an easier way to actually answer the question of the redox reaction, right? So in this reaction, hydrogen peroxide, I made half reaction with oxygen. Then the ion of manganese, I made a half reaction with the manganese ion. So it is H2O2, the hydrogen peroxide, with oxygen. Now, to do this of the redox reaction method, first we look at the value of O, where the O is the same. Next, we determine the value of H. Since it is lacking 2H, we added 2H plus, 2H ions. Then, after we determine the value of O and H, whether it is already uh, equal uh, for left and right, now we consider the charge, right? Since this have no charge, so the charge is zero. In this one, we have zero charge plus two charge. So the charge here is plus two. This in, in the left has zero charge. So we need to equal the charge. The way to do it is we add the electron ion to the one who have bigger charge to E. So because this has a charge more than uh, this left charge, this is plus two and this is zero, we add two E so that the charge is equal. So this is our first half reaction. So we determine the O, determine the H and determine the charge. Well, actually there's one more that is the, I mean, the to balance this equation, but this equation already balanced, right? And then second half reaction is about MnO4 to Mn2 plus. First, we determine the, the number, the coefficient is already equal. Then we determine the O because this lacks four O. If lacks the oxygen element, we add H2O. It lacks 4O, we add 4H2O. Okay, then we determine the H. Since this lacked 8H, right, there is 8H element, so we add 8H plus equals Mn2 plus plus 4 water. Okay, then after that, we determine the charge value. The charge that is uh, in this position is this A charge, the left, and this, there are two charge. So we have to equal that. Uh, or 
I missed that this is actually there's a minus charge. So this is actually minus one charge, then plus eight, and this is plus two, and plus zero. So this is plus seven. I missed that. Then because this has more five charge than this, we add to this five electron ion. So therefore, this is our second half, second half reaction. Now, what are we doing? What are we going to do is to actually add this reaction over. So let's say we have MnO4. Let's put it on the top. So the, in the way that we want to first eliminate the electron ion. So we need to actually add this thing up. So because this is 5 and 2, we need to equal that by multiplying by 2 and 5. So this resulted to 5MnO4. This become, oh, it's multiplied by 2. So it is 2 and 16 H plus plus 10 electron ion equals the product of 2 manganese ion plus 8 H2O. Then we multiplied by 5, 5, 5 hydrogen peroxide. 5 oxygen plus 10 H plus plus 10 E. Now we can eliminate this. Remember that the way that this equation being crossed out, it's not when they are, you know, stacked on top of each other, but when they are in the separate, uh, separate in this reactant, separated with product. It, it is very different when we, you do the, uh, the regular of the elimination or substitution method for the variable of numbers is very different with the chemistry reaction. Okay, so we gonna add it all. So two MnO four plus five H two O two. So we combine that because there is nothing left to. Oh, I think there's six here. Right, sixteen minus ten is six H plus. Then it is 2MN2 plus, then plus 5O2 plus H, 8H2O. So you see, at the original question of this one, 2MNO4, 8H2O2, we got 5, right, in this position. Then for the H plus B, we get 6H plus. So B is 6, so I will write that. So A is 5, B is 6. Then for the 2MN2+, and then near the O2 is C, where this is 5. Then for H2O is D, then we get 8. So that is the appropriate value for each, each of the redox reaction. So we already solved number 1. Now for number 2. It says that we need to write a chemical reaction formula when manganese ion is oxidized by hydrogen peroxide to produce magnesium oxide under the basic condition. So for number one, we are asked on the acidic condition. And for number two, it's very unique when we ask for the basic condition. So to answer, answer the question, this is very unique because now we are going to do it in basic condition. Now, basic condition a little bit different with the ACD condition, but we're gonna continue to do the redox reaction with the half reaction method. So it is said that Mn2 plus ion is oxidized. The question say oxidized by hydrogen peroxide to produce MnO2 and all of this is in the basic condition. So by the reaction that we have gotten, I mean the actual result, we see that we have the reaction of MnO4 with Mn2 plus, right? In this our half reaction method. Then we make H2O2, hydrogen peroxide, with the oxygen. But at this time, it's very different. 
because it is said that manganese ions is oxidized by hydrogen peroxide to produce manganese oxide. So that's why our half reaction would be manganese ion become manganese oxide. So we are going to do a half reaction here, but this time in a basic condition. But the initial step is the same. First, we determine the O because this is like two oxygen. We add it with two water, right? Then we determine the H. It lacks four H, we add four H plus. Okay. Then we consider the charge. This is has plus two charge. This is has plus four. So we add a two E, two electron ions, right? To balance the charge. If you have getting to used to do this, it would be much easier for you to actually determine on how redox reaction like this would happen. Okay. Next, what we'll do is because this type of initial step will be determine the oxidation, I mean the coefficient number, determine the O, determine the H, and determine the charge. That is the initial step for acidic condition. And for basic condition, there are additional steps. That is, we add the value of hydroxide ion, which is the signature of basic condition, to the ones of how many H plus. Uh, is present because here there is present 4H plus we added four hydroxide ions each on left and right it's kind of a long process but that is what is take now H plus plus OH minus it's water so we can finally finish our full first half reaction of Mn to manganese ion to manganese oxide. So this is our first half reaction for this uh, type. And the second half reaction is, remember that there is, there is a hydrogen peroxide. The question is, what are we going to change that to, right? The answer is, we're gonna change it actually to water. It's impossible that we gonna transform it to oxygen because we have do the half reaction with uh, manganese ion, so we do it with water. Okay, so it's the same. We determine the O. Well, it's actually this way. Okay, so it lacks one O. So we add one H two O. Right? We can uh, combine that. Now we determine the H because this is, has 4H and this is, has 2H. We add 2H plus, right, to this uh, condition. Now we added the charge because it's uh, plus two charge and it has zero charge so 2H plus plus 2E minus then plus H2O2 equals 2H2O then since we are having that we are gonna, gonna add that hydroxide ion right to this condition so it is 2H plus plus 2OH minus because there are 2H plus and because it's an acidic condition, it's very a painstaking process to actually gonna work this out, and this has resulted in two H two O. Yep. And that is our second half reaction. This is second half reaction, and this is our first half reaction, and we're gonna, you know, stack it up. So, this way would happen. Very long reaction. 
where you need to know that this, this is actually the Mon Buka Gaku Show question. Where you have one hour, and maybe we already talked about this redox reaction maybe for some some sufficient amount of time. Okay, so what do we got? We can cross this out, right? The electron. Now, for H2O, remember that this has 2, 2, and 4. Okay, so we can cross this. Oh, we cannot cross that. Okay, so this is with this one. Then with OH, hydroxide ion. And there we go. I think that is the reaction. This is gonna add it for H2O. So this is Mn2 plus plus. Well, I think it's gonna add the three, three hydrogen peroxide plus two hydroxide ion equals MnO2. Then it will be added with four H2O. So this is the equation for our basic condition for Mn manganese ions which is oxidized by hydrogen peroxide and with manganese oxide in the basic condition and this is the equation of manganese ion, 3 hydrogen peroxide, 2 hydroxide ions, manganese oxide and 4 water 